How you guys doing? This is Eugene Johnson, founder of Make Your Mind an Asset, and welcome to episode four. Uh, and I know normally when people start uh, in a speech or they start to do any type of public speaking, a lot of times they start with a joke. Well, today, I don't have any jokes. Don't get your hopes up. I'm here uh, not to tell jokes, but I'm here to pick a fight. I'm here to pick a fight with the loser's mentality. And today's society is running rampant. It's okay to lose. It's okay to come in last place. It's okay not to succeed. No, it's not. If you keep that loser's mentality, it will bleed into the rest of your life. I, I hear parents now saying, oh, my kids are out of control. I don't know what I, I, I can do. You know, I tried my best, but I guess that's just the way it is. No, that's not the way it is. Pick up a book. Read what you need to read in order to become a better parent. Listen to the people that you need to listen to to become a better parent. Get around great parents and figure out what they're doing. Don't just give up. You don't want to lose as a parent. You don't want to lose in your finances. Some people are losing in their finances saying, well, okay, well, it's my four. 1k is not really enough to, uh, to have a retirement. My job is not setting it up for me. My bank account is not where I want it to be. If you accept that loser's mentality, you'll start to live where you don't want to live. You'll start to drive what you don't want to drive. You'll start to be around people that you don't really want to be around. You'll look up one day on your deathbed and say, what did I do with my life? We all been born winners, but in order to win, you got to plan to win. You got to prepare to win. You got to expect to win. You have to have a winner's mentality. Mentality. You see, winners say it's difficult, but it's possible. Losers say it's possible, but it's too difficult. Winners say, I see the game. Losers say, well, I see the pain. Winners say, I see the possibilities. Losers say, I see the problems. Winners say, I'm going to make it happen. Losers, let it happen. Are you going to have a winner's mentality or a loser's mentality? See, winning is a mindset. Having a winning mentality will pay huge dividends to you for your future. But most people don't have the winning mentality. They don't have it in them. It's not in them. It's like Michael Jordan. See, a lot of people say Michael Jordan is the greatest player in the world. And I actually agree with them. He was the greatest player to ever play the game. But some people say he was the greatest player because of his talent. But I don't say Michael Jordan is a great player because of his talent. There's some people who are more talented than Michael Jordan. But I believe... I believe that Michael Jordan is a winner. And because he's a winner, that's what makes him great. Because he's willing to put the whole team on his shoulders. Because he's willing to put the whole franchise on his shoulders. Because he's willing to put the whole uh, city of Chicago on his shoulders. That's what made him great. He was great because he found a way for the team to win. He was, he was willing to do whatever it takes. You got to have the confidence, the swagger to step into the game of life and say whatever it takes, no matter what the situation is, no matter what the obstacle is in front of me, I don't care. I don't care what it is. I'm going to do whatever it takes to get myself to the win. Winning is a mindset. Winning is a choice. You got to choose to win. See, nobody's going to give it to you. Nobody's going to give it to you on a silver platter and say, oh, you want success? Here it is. You want a successful relationship? Here it is. You want successful marriage? Here it is. You want successful finances? Here it is. Here's all of your success. You want success in your career. You want success, uh, you know, you want success in your fitness. You want success in any area of life. It's not going to be handed to you. You got to get up every single day and choose to win. And see, for me, I choose to win. I choose to come in first place. And if that means I have to stay up a little bit later, work a little bit harder, you fight a little bit longer, I'm allergic to second place. Second place is in my rearview mirror. I'm going in first. Why? Because I have the mentality of a winner. Winners win no matter what the situation. And you have to say to the competition, you might be smarter than me. You might be faster than me. You might be prettier than me. But you won't beat me. Why? Because I have the will to win. I have the desire inside, that burning desire that I will win. And some people say, well, Eugene, it's not all about winning. You know, winning, winning is not everything. You know, as long as you play the game. Well, the person who came up with that probably came in second place. Remember that joke that I said I wasn't going to say in the beginning? Well, I changed my mind. Here's a joke. Knock, knock. Who's there? The guy who came in second place. The guy who came in second place, who? Look, you have greatness inside of you. You have something special inside of you. But if you allow it to stay inside with the loser's mentality that says I can't, 
that, that makes you want to give up, that makes you want to not even start. Look, you have to change that. You have to change that. Your family is relying on you. Your finances are relying on you. Your health is relying on you. Your kids are relying on you. Everybody around you is relying on you to change your family tree. See, losers visualize the penalties of failure, but winners visualize the possibilities of the future. So you've got to be a winner. You've got to have a championship mentality that says, I see the future and the future is bright. Even if it's not bright today, I love the song from Annie, the sun will come out tomorrow, right? Tomorrow the sun will be out. So if you in the rain today, you work hard. You do whatever it takes because if you do whatever it takes, if you have that winning mentality, then at some point in time, your hard work will pay off. Your sleepless nights will pay off. Your willingness to do what the a competition wasn't willing to do will pay off because somebody's out there trying to win, trying to beat you to your end game. So you got to do what you need to do in order to win. I know you can do it. I know it might look hard. I know it might look rough. I know it might look impossible. Possible, but impossible if you break that word it just means I'm possible you're possible It's possible for you to have the lifestyle that you want whether it be in health whether it be in your spirituality Whether it be with your family whatever it takes you have it inside of you. You just got to go after it Okay, I'm done with my tirade. I apologize but, but, but it, it burns inside of me when I know that that seed that's trapped inside of you that wants to become great is being poured. The negativity of the world is pouring on top of that seed. And I know that if you release that seed, the world will be changed. I was sleeping on my mom's couch, not working a dead-end job, negative bank account. Having, I had nothing, no plans for the future, no anything. I was stuck. But somebody showed me that my seed had greatness in it. Somebody said, Eugene, there's something inside of you. You've got to release it. And when I decided to release it, my decision to release that seed has affected countless people. When you decide, I love the poem from Marion Ann Williamson. And the poem says, our deepest fear is not that we are inadequate. Our deepest fear is that we are powerful beyond measure. It is not our light, but our darkness that most frightens us. We ask ourselves, who are we to be brilliant, gorgeous, talented, beautiful. Actually, who are you not to be? You are a child of God. You're playing small. Does not serve the world. There's nothing enlightened so of shrinking so that others won't feel insecure around you. You are meant to shine as children do. I love this part right here. As you let your light shine, you unconsciously give other people permission to do the same. You have greatness inside of you. And if you release it, if you release it, then the people around you will be liberated. Your family will be liberated. Your friends will be liberated. Your co-workers will be liberated if you let your light shine. Let your light shine. Thank you so much for your time. I appreciate it. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed. Become a VIP member if you haven't become a VIP member. And here's the question of the day. What is one word you would use to describe what it takes to win? What is that one word? It could be anything. Pick one word, leave it in the comment section below. I want to hear from you. I want to hear your input. I really, really love and appreciate your time. I I'm excited to be in this community with you, uh, and I'm excited to be able to see what you can do in the future. Until next time, this is Eugene Johnson signing off. Remember, let no man steal your vision because no man gave it to you. God bless.